Jim, I personally think this is the Spencer Torkelson draft. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, it, it's a really deep draft. There are a lot of talented players, but 100% for me, I think he's the, the best player. You just don't see guys with this combination of bat and power and play discipline. I've had evaluators tell me he might be the best uh, all-around offensive player to come out of the draft since Mark Teixeira 20 years ago. Wow. So, so, so instead of waiting to the very end of the show to talk about the number one guy, Harold, do you mind? I don't know if your breakdown's ready. I'm throwing you a curveball. Can you break down Spencer Torkelson for us? I, I can hit that curveball. I'm ready. Okay, all right, I can it. hit it. I don't know. I can't hit it like Spencer, but I can hit <laughs> Look, it. And this guy, talking about curveballs, he's got such great plate discipline. That's one of the things people are drooling about him. Undrafted out of high school, this is what extra work looks like. Great power. He can pull the ball inside. He can hit the ball the opposite way. He's going to cover the field. But as I watched him take infield, Catching the ball, he became a better defender for me the more I watched him. He moves, he's a great athlete, he's fluid, he can pick it at first. So I think he's going to be a plus defender for you on the first base side. But here's what impresses you. It's a plate discipline. Watch how quick he recognizes these pitches. I want to go right here with this one again. Before this is out of the pitcher's hand, he's already set ready to hit, right? Now as this ball releases, watch how quick he sees it. Right there, he lays off. Just watch that front foot. We'll run it back just a little bit again. As soon as he puts that front foot down, he says, I don't want that pitch. He recognized the ball so quick. I'd love to do an eye test on him, see how good his eyesight is, because he recognized balls quickly. But then he has the ability to shoot that the other way. So when you're able to hit a ball inside and know you're quick enough to do it and wait and take a ball the other way, then you combine that with your great eyesight, you get great results and that's what's happened with this young man right here yeah, at 20 cut. years old he's taken off pretty impressive stuff uh, you guys have him um, number one on this list so we're just going to give that away but Jonathan how does a guy go from undrafted in high school to what you believe to be the number one player available in the MLB draft I guess he ate his Wheaties once he got to Arizona State uh, I honestly <laughs> it, it happens uh, every once in a while, he, I mean, he, he probably lacks some strength. This was not a guy. I do California every year. His name did not come up at all out of high school. Uh, he needed to go on to college. The amazing thing is, is that it's not like it took him two years to start producing. His freshman year at Arizona State, he put up absolutely ridiculous numbers and he, he kept on doing it and it is that plate discipline that really really stands out I think he would have walked a hundred times this spring had they played a full season 